Understanding PSA levels and prostate cancer. Hello everyone. In today's discussion, we'll be addressing a frequently asked question. If my PSA level is above the normal range for my age, does that mean I have prostate cancer? Understanding what PSA levels mean and how they relate to prostate health is crucial, especially as men age. We will go through this step by step. What is a PSA test? Firstly, it's important to understand what PSA is. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen, a protein produced by both normal and malignant cells of the prostate gland. The PSA test measures the level of this protein in the blood. An elevated PSA level can be an early indication of prostate problems, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have prostate cancer. What does an elevated PSA level indicate? An elevated PSA level could indicate a variety of conditions, not only prostate cancer. It may be a sign of prostatitis, prostate inflammation, benign prostatic hyperplasia, enlargement of the prostate, or a urinary tract infection. Even certain medical procedures and medications can temporarily increase your PSA levels. However, higher levels of PSA may also indicate a higher risk of prostate cancer. It's important to remember that the PSA test alone cannot diagnose prostate cancer. It's one of the tools that doctors use to determine whether further testing, such as a biopsy, is needed. What are the normal PSA levels? PSA levels are generally expected to be under 4.0 nanograms per milliliter. However, normal PSA levels can vary with age. Moreover, some men with prostate cancer might not have elevated PSA levels, and some without prostate cancer might have high levels. Therefore, the test results must be interpreted carefully by your healthcare provider in the context of your overall health and symptoms. What should you do if your PSA level is high? If your PSA level is higher than the normal range for your age, it does not automatically mean you have prostate cancer. However, it's a signal that you should consult your healthcare provider to understand what might be causing the increase. Follow-up tests might be needed, such as repeat PSA tests, prostate exams, imaging tests, or even a prostate biopsy. Your doctor will guide you through these decisions based on your specific circumstances. In conclusion, Having a PSA level above the normal range for your age isn't a definite indicator of prostate cancer. It could be due to various other conditions as well. But it's always important to take these test results seriously and follow up with your healthcare provider for further investigation. Remember that knowledge is power when it comes to your health. So, stay informed and don't hesitate to ask questions. Your health is always worth it. Until next time, take care.